Kid Friendly TV. Hey guys, it's Whitney. And Pete from Kid Friendly TV. And we just got back from watching Finding Dory in IMAX 3D. <laughs> Whoa, those glasses are huge. <laughs> These are really big. Finding Dory is a sequel to Disney Pixar's Finding Nemo. And we have been so excited to see this movie, so we were really happy to go today to see it. We've been reviewing all the toys, seeing all the new characters like Hank. Bailey. And Destiny. So it was a lot of fun to see how they were in the new movie. We just saw Finding Dory in IMAX 3D. <laughs> what are you doing? You just said that. What? Well, you just said that. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm a suffer from short-term memory loss like Dory. It's okay. Okay. It's okay. Oh. <laughs> Woo. Well, this will be a non-spoiler movie review, but if you would like to see our review of spoilers, just click above. Finding Dory is about Dory's adventure trying to find her family with the help of Nemo and Marlene. If you remember in Finding Nemo, Dory has short-term memory loss where she can't remember stuff too well. But in Finding Dory, she starts having vivid memories of her family, and she wants to go find her mom and dad. Let's start off with our first reactions. What did you think of the movie? I absolutely loved this movie. It was really good. It was super funny. I even laughed out several times, and I loved the characters. What did you think? I agree. I loved the movie. It was really, really well done. There was even a scene at the beginning where Dory is shown in a flashback, and it shows how she ran into Marlin from Finding Nemo. So it was neat to see the two movies overlap, <laughs> and it was just a really, really good movie. Very funny. Now, did you like it better than Finding Nemo? Definitely. Really? Yes. Wow. Yes. I think it was so much better than Finding Nemo. So much better? I don't know. I really, really love this oh, movie. Goodness. I think Finding Dory had a lot more funnier parts. It was a lot of silly parts. And I felt more connected to the characters like Hank and just Bailey and Destiny. I really felt like they were, I don't know, well-rounded. So did you like Finding Dory better than Finding Nemo? I'm surprised to say this, but I would say yes. I don't know if it's where we're just getting home from the movie and I have that excitement from just seeing it or what, but I, I think I liked Finding Dory better than Finding Nemo. I think part of it is where we already know the characters of Marlin and Nemo and Dory, so we're kind of expanding on them. And then we get some really awesome new characters, so I, I think I like Finding Dory better than Finding Nemo. We watched the movie in IMAX 3D. What did you think of the 3D effects? I was actually really disappointed by the 3D part. Like, I didn't feel like there was enough stuff to um, really go for the 3D. It wasn't like fish, you know, swimming right at you <laughs> or anything popping out. Um, so I, I don't think the 3D was really too amazing. What did you think? I agree. The The 3D effects were kind of lacking. I mean, I love 3D movies, but like even in the previews, there was a preview for Ghostbusters and there was some slime coming right at Whitney and she, <laughs> and got, went, ah! she got scared from that. But like in Finding Dory, I mean, you know, you could tell I mean, it, was it was 3D. Subtle. It was very subtle. But you know, it, it wasn't any, any amazing 3D effects. But you know, if you enjoy 3D movies, you'd like it, but uh, it's nothing. I, I don't think you'd get anything more out of the 3D movie than seeing it in 2D. I don't think it's really super necessary to do the 3D, but if you love 3D, then definitely go for it. So did you have a favorite character in the movie oh, besides <laughs> Hank? I was going to say Hank because he is my favorite, but my second favorite would have to be the sea lions. They, they are hilarious. Yeah, they they are really so good. funny. And I do love Destiny and Bailey. They were really good characters too. Who yeah. did you like? I liked, I liked Destiny a lot. Destiny was the whale shark. And Bailey was a good character. The beluga whale. I mean, they were and all really good characters. This was Hank. Of course, Hank. Yeah. Hank, Hank is awesome. really cool. Yeah. But yeah, they, they were really good characters. I can't really think of a new character that I didn't like. Um, can you think of anyone that you didn't like? No, I really liked all the characters. Yeah, so, I mean, all, all the new characters they were really just, funny. just seemed to, to fit in well. And it was, it was kind of neat seeing just how they all interacted yeah. with, with the existing characters. Yeah, it was really good. 
So would you recommend going to see Finding Dory? Definitely, definitely. It was a great movie, and it was very family-friendly. So it seems like a lot of the Disney movies lately, they have these really sad or depressing moments to them. Yeah, definitely. And, you know, that can make for a good movie. But, you know, this one's very family-friendly. But thinking of, like, the good dinosaur. like there That was, was some, so sad. Yeah, there it was, was like, some, so many sad parts in that yeah, movie. Yeah, there were some really sad parts in that movie. and I, I think the beginning of Frozen is really Yeah, the beginning sad. of Frozen is sad. And, you know, so there... Disney can sometimes have some really sad parts, but this one, there were some sad parts, but it wasn't overly sad. It wasn't, and like, sad, depressing. It was, it was, you know, genuinely happy and high-spirited and yeah, family-oriented. Yeah, overall, it was really happy. So, it was, it was definitely a recommendation. Would you recommend the movie? Absolutely. I think it was a great movie. I loved it. Overall, I would say definitely go see this. It's, it's really, really good. So what would you rate this movie out of 10? <laughs> out of 10, I would have to say probably like an 8.8. 8.8, wow. 8.8, yeah. High. Yeah, it is high because it was really funny. Well, what would you give Finding Nemo? <laughs> Finding Nemo, I would give Finding Nemo like 8. An 8? Mm -hmm. Okay. Because I just feel like Finding Nemo, it's really good. It's one of our favorite movies, but I don't think it was quite as funny as The Finding Dory. So what about you? What about the Finding Dory? What would you rate that? I'd give Finding Dory an 8.5. Mm-hmm. And Finding Nemo. Finding Nemo, 8.3. 8.3. Yeah, so very okay. close. Yeah. But slight edge to Finding Dory. But we'll have to see, like, when it comes <laughs> out on DVD and... You know, we watch it a hundred times if it still holds up the way Finding Nemo does. <laughs> you know, we can still put on Finding Nemo to this day and watch it. So yeah, it's we'll, really good. You know, we'll see if Finding Dory will have that kind of staying power. I think it will just because of, like, all the funny parts. And I can see our kids, like, wanting to watch it over and over and over. Yeah, for... well, Blake, our son, he really loves Finding Nemo. He'll be like, Nemo, Nemo, like fish. So he, he does really like it. We hope you guys enjoyed our review on the new Finding Dory movie from Disney Pixar. It was so much fun. And please make sure to subscribe to Kid Friendly TV by clicking on subscribe down below so you don't miss out on our daily fun videos. We'll see you guys soon. Bye! Do you like running in my cozy cube? Oh, this is so much fun, Elmo! Go, Elmo! Fast, y'all! Would you like to beat the horn?